hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is the channel where we get inspired entertained and educated at the same time so guys i know it has been a while but we are back with a bang so today guys is going to be an exciting video i'm going to show you a, a farm i'm going to give you a farm tour a traditional farm tour african farm tour and i know you will you will enjoy so come with me see you on the other side so guys as you can see there we have the banana those are the banana plantations and then you see right there the bunch of them that are growing they are almost maturing and then from there we come here we have the sukuma wiki which in English is called kelp. It's so nutritious. You see the way it is green. The leaves are so wide. <laughs> yeah, and then we have some spinach here. Also very good in vitamins. Yeah, as we proceed, there are more bananas right there. You can see this one has fallen down here. Yes, and they are very sweet when they are ripe. And then, as we move on, we go to the other side. There are maize, maize plantations. The maize, it is still on its... Uh, it is still growing. And then, from there, we have the Zara, or rather the Napier grass. The local people call it Zara. The Napier grass is used to feed the cows. That is the Napier grass. It grows very tall. And uh, when it has grown, it is then harvested and it is cut into pieces by a shelf cutter to be fed to the to the cows from there we have more sukuma wiki oh my god this sukuma wiki looks so yummy and they look so they are organically grown you see there they, there is the nini we don't use uh, fertilizers we use the farmyard manure right there and they come out so nutritious and then from there we have doma this is the doma plant or rather uh, arrow root it is very sweet when it has grown uh, it is harvested and then you can deep fry you can boil and drink with the tea it is very nutritious rather than eating the the bread and cake that we are used to which gives us uh, gases and sometimes makes us to have stomach upset but with this this is so natural traditional we just enjoy with tea and it makes you so full those are the endomas right there I wish I would have uh, one who, which has grown so that I could show you, but I'll show you in a picture, probably. Then move to the fruits. Right there we have the tree tomato plant, or rather the tomarillos. They are fruits. You can see right here, it is a fruit that is used to increase blood. Uh, some people call it matunda adamu they are right there so many of them they have been intercropped with onions you can see their onions also spinach yeah it is a good way of farming also more i think more Kumawiki or rather cabbages are being planted here also. Then have uh, potatoes. This is the potato plant. The agikuyus call it waru. 
there they are and then we have the pumpkin these are the pumpkin leaves right there yes we get the pumpkin from them yeah and then as we proceed you see the tree tomatoes these are they are continuing to ripe they are ripening then from there we have more sukuma wiki right here these are the kale's plantation right there you can see i love them oh my god i love them just see the way the leaves are so broad they are so nutritious yes they are right there many of them up to the farthest point of the farm it has also been intercropped with onions right there as we continue we have maize there you can see they're in the flowering stage yes these are the flowers yeah and they are growing that is the maize plantation more of them right there more of them right there and then as we continue to the maize we have cabbages yeah that is the cabbage plantation right there if you don't know the cabbage there it is that is the cabbage plantation when it, it is grown it is harvested and then you can make salad from them they are right there up to the farthest point of the of the farm you see more maize right there and more maize there and then from there we move to the coffee plantation have you ever guys seen the coffee plantation we have more cabbages right there we move to the coffee plantation this is the coffee plantation and they are still growing and when they are ripe they will become red like this this is the coffee plantation they are still ripening yes you see how it looks like it is green in color when unripe and then when ripe it will be red in color then it will, be, it will be roasted and that is where we get our coffee from as you can see we have water here we use irrigation to cultivate our crops especially cabbages yes and they grow very fast as you can see there are so many right there and they are green in color yeah so that is our coffee plantation from right here it stretches down there up to the farm some more tree tomato or tomarillas they are ripening yes when they are ripe they are red but when they are unripe they are green right there then from there we have the avocado plantation if you can see right there those tall trees that is the avocado plantation of the variety hash or has it is very sweet they are so small but they are very 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 sweet yes they're right there it 
is the avocado tree as you can see it is so huge those are the avocado avocados right there and at the top there they are small but when ripe they are so sweet you can use to make salad with them you can use in your bread like the way you apply blue band and they are so 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 sweet we have many trees like these of avocados and that guys is our hole those are, those are more avocado trees right there as you can see yes it is a whole like plant a whole plantation that is our whole farm tour i hope you have enjoyed you've learned something maybe something you didn't know so kindly uh, kindly subscribe subscribe to my youtube channel kindly like share comment and it will be nice please subscribe 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 to my youtube channel and it will be a blessing yes and as we always say we are the best ahead of the rest bye